Hi everyone and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner for April's plan with me. I can't believe April's here already. I have a few weeks of exams and by the 22nd I will be officially off for four months and I will be creating videos for four months. So I am super excited for that. Just need to get pushed through this final stretch. Because exam season is coming up, I am especially busy right now. So I've already pre-formatted the pages. All I'm going to be doing in this video is filling in like my calendar items and my to-do lists. Page number one is of course my month at a glance. I am in love with this month at a glance. It's super cute. To get this look, um, what I did was I put a sticky note down on my page and then I took one of my Tombos and just colored over the sticky note and took it off and boom, this is what I got. And in that square space, I did a calendar. So let's do some filling in. Something really exciting happening is my grandparents are arriving from Portugal. Whenever my grandparents come to visit, they end up staying with my family back in my hometown. So our house goes from being a home of four to six. It's always a fun time. And because I'm gonna be really busy throughout the beginning of the month during their visit, um, back here, well, here in Toronto writing exams, I'm probably going to take a few weeks to just go back home for a bit so I can get some real good quality time in with them. Okay, and then we are going to move on to page number two and three. The so page number two is my monthly tracker. Again, kept it to a very, or kept my list of tracking to a minimum. I am tracking hydration, vitamins, meditation, and tidying. And a little quote at the bottom here that says, forget the mistake, remember the lesson. I could honestly go into a whole video based on this quote because it's so true and it's definitely something I've been trying to be a little bit more mindful of lately so I don't know maybe that is an idea for a future video who knows then to the right I have my spring reading list because now I'm going to have well in the spring I'll have time to actually read any university students or students who have gone to university or college know that the last thing or at least the last thing I want to do after reading textbooks all day is read a normal like book usually I just like to veg out with YouTube videos or Netflix or something that allows my brain to turn off. But it is my passion. Reading is how I even started YouTube. So needless to say, I am thrilled that I'll be able to have time to, you know, invest in my passion. Again, one of my passions, reading. So I'm gonna fill in this list here with some books that have been on my TBR or that are on my immediate TBR and any other books that I think of I'll obviously add throughout the season. And we're gonna flip again. Two pages, what are we on now? One, two, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, Yes, I can count, that is good. So this is my spring cleaning page. I don't know if you can make out that I have the word spring here written with my Tombow. By the way, I'm going to link all of these Tombows and all the supplies used in this video or to create these spreads in the description box below, so check that out. So over here is where I'm gonna put all the supplies that I need to purchase and these categories right here under the to clean are obviously the different areas in each of the rooms of the different areas I want to do some spring cleaning with that I have to tackle. So I have my bedroom here in Toronto, the apartment in general, so living room, kitchen, bathroom, my bedroom back home, the library, our library back home, and a digital clean as well. Because I am going to be doing a lot of spring cleaning in the next month or so, I would love to know, like cleaning and organizing, I should say. Uh, but I would like to know if you guys wanna see some videos related to this subject matter. So if that's of interest to you, let me know in the comment section down below. It's actually concerning how much I am excited to get cleaning. Uh, I had a whole conversation with a friend of mine the other day about how excited I am to buy spice racks and organizational bins for my pantry and my kitchen and I just went on a whole like rant about how exciting and wonderful it's gonna be and she was judging me very hard. There you have that for now. The most interesting category might be my digital spring cleaning, which is gonna involve deleting old or unused apps on my phone, deleting old photos, on both my phone and my computer and uploading those photos to a hard drive, cleaning out my email inbox because it is so 
messy and so many emails are in there that are unorganized and unread and it's horrible 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 I have let it get out of hand this is a category that I think is gonna have a lot of like long-term benefits for me especially if I clean out my inbox because future me will really appreciate this I mean I do like a good clean window and baseboard as well but nothing feels as quite as satisfying as an inbox with zero emails in it moving on we've got my exam study planner this looks intense and it is the way this study planner works is i have made like a timetable for about two weeks worth yeah two weeks exactly actually i have the hours 11 a.m to 10 p.m set on the y-axis and all of the dates on the x-axis can you tell i have a stats class to study for basically all i'll have to do is use the colors to block out time for each subject and if i am able to stick to that schedule i think it'll be really good because my economics courses i'm very stressed out about so i'm worried that if i just leave it to leave it to chance or just allow myself study without a plan i may spend a little bit too much time on those courses i'm more concerned about which is not a bad thing but it's not like my other courses are a walk in the park either so i need to make sure i'm giving them enough time and attention as well. I'm not going to fill it in though right now because I'm going to, this process is gonna involve a lot of back and forth with my course uh, outlines and stuff. But if you're wondering what these blocked out times are, these are just like the last remaining classes I have. So I just blocked out those times in black because obviously I can't study for anything while I'm actually in class. So that's what that is. And then to the right, I have just a random kind of business related page and by business I mean YouTube. Up top of here I have a spot for video ideas I'm going to be filling in and I'm going to keep this blank as well because I don't really want you guys to know like be spoiled by what's coming up. And then I have a things to learn section as well because YouTube is a very creative business, but it also involves like learning things about YouTube itself and different programs. Because I have some time, I really want to brush up on some photography skills. I also want to learn some Photoshop and Adobe. Adobe, uh, what's it called? The film one, the video. Premiere, <laughs> Adobe Premiere. That's what we've got going so far. And the final two pages are a template for my week at a glance. This week at a glance is for the first week of April from the 3rd to the 9th. I kept it vertical again. If you watched any of my bullet journal videos, then you probably know that I am a fan of the vertical layout for the weekly spread. I've got a to-do list, a gratitude list, or a little section to write things that I'm grateful for for the week. And bada bing, bada boom. So let me just give this a little fill in quickly. That's all I really have to fill in because I'm not really sure what I'll be doing two weeks in advance other than panicking and studying. That is pretty much my life for the next month. <laughs> it's all good. Everyone that goes into university goes through the same thing. That, my friends, is pretty much all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me, even though it's in a little bit of a different format than I usually do, and hopefully got some inspiration for your uh, April spreads. If you wanna see a flip through of April's pages once they're completed, then let me know by clicking on the poll that's on the upper right corner of this video and clicking yes. So I know that that is of interest to some of you. And if I get a majority saying yes, then that is something I will do at the end of the month. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Until then, bye everyone. <laughs> What is this? What? Why? This is why I shouldn't be left alone. Things get a little crazy. Okay, we're done now.